What's going on, man? I'm here with uh, Football Field. You. And uh, we out here chilling, man. We're going to talk some sports. Talk about my camp that's coming up, uh, the Smith's Linebacker Academy. I'm only taking 20 kids. 20 kids, 20 man. kids, man. 20. So make sure you go and sign up. There's only a few spots left. Uh, and I hope to see you there. All yeah, right, come get that work. Welcome back to the show, man. Today, Footballville, Crib Talk, Caneville. I'll start off with a new segment about uh, high school transferring. Um, this, this past week, it's been crazy in the transfer portal for high school. Uh, the school, Hollandale, had a, 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 a lot of top talented players over there. And um, I don't want to get into details what's going on over there, but just say a lot of the players left. Um, we just had central defensive coaches here last week for the previous week, and um, they basically explained, you know, they don't need the transfers or nothing like that. Players just come to them, and then that's exactly what happened. Insert, they get five new transfers from that Hollandale team. Um, that team sent you loaded. I don't know what's going on, how they go get them all on the field at the same time, but they got five new players. Um, and it's more to come. A lot of craziness going on with high school transfer. It's, it's, it's almost worse than what college has going on right now, but it's the landscape we in right now with transferring. Um, you're letting the kids play immediately. You don't have to live by the schools or nothing like that no more. Um, so that's that ticket we got going on. So obviously, when we put out our top 10 football um, high schools in South Florida, uh, it's going to be a lot of shaking up going on. So stay tuned for that. Um, what else we have? We got uh, a busy recruiting weekend this week. We got a couple of names, um, Kamari Rogers, Wesley the Saints, um, uh, another big, de decent tackle coming in. Uh, so far, the recruiting news is great for you. It's great. The only bad thing is nobody has committed yet. Um, you know, we don't buy the silent commitment thing anymore. We have got burnt by that plenty of times. So to somebody say, I'm officially committed to UM, like Quan Lee did, you know, and we go from there. Um, other than that, uh, the game coming. Alabama UM, uh, please get your game tickets ready. Um, they selling, they selling fast, they selling real fast. September 4th, game is at 3.30. Get your tickets now if you can. They selling real fast. People was calling me trying to see if I could buy them tickets. I, I can't buy any more tickets, so please get your tickets now. September 4th, Alabama. It's game, the game gonna be interesting. So, <laughs> critics say they gonna beat us 52-17. I don't think it's gonna be like that. You know, if it do, somebody gotta get dismissed. <laughs> I don't agree with the top three. You don't agree with Dillard being there, how you don't agree with the West. I mean, and... it's, all a, it's all a conversation. Huh? All right, man, listen, man, we back, man. Crib Talk, Caneville, Footballville. Going on as X, I'm D. Um, Charting on new grounds here, man. Uh, we're gonna put out a top ten. We're gonna, we're gonna top put out 10, a, a, a top, top ten. We, we kind of dealing with the last two. Um, I got last. I got. I got somebody to fill in the last two. I'm gonna send it to you. Short team. Dealing with the last two teams, man. We're gonna put out our top ten, man. Then let y'all run rave and, and, and cry yeah. about. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta do some real raging first. Cry about how we cry about how we feel about it. Um, Who's some of the top schools, bro? Top, who's some of the top schools we have? Um, man? you got, of course, you got uh Northwestern, you got mm -hmm. Miami Central, you got uh American Heritage, American Heritage, St. Thomas, Thomas Chaminade, Deerfield, right. Dillard, yeah. uh, Champayat, right. um, you got Gulliver, Columbus. Um, I was I was yeah. battling to see what, and you know, and I had this conversation with a guy yesterday on yeah. Twitter. And I would say, you know, North Miami Beach always has a steady program mm -hmm. every year. You know, they, they just never don't crack get, anybody rankings. Yeah, they just don't <laughs> never get that. Um, so I was battling to see if, if I could put them. But they in had there. a chance last year that they would yeah. beat Dillard, um, but then they lost to Dillard um, in, the, in that other championship game. But no, man, we, we got something new. We ain't gonna give y'all give y'all give y'all everything now. But we, we got we gonna put out a top ten here soon. Soon as we 
come up com concrete on, on how we feel about some of the top ten schools. It's just Dade and Broward, right? Yeah, just Dade and Broward. I mean, we don't we don't get to West Palm Beach that often. And I don't think it's a team up there that's better than right. any team like that anyway. So. Yeah. All right. And that's it, man. I talked to um talked to Chris Graves, Fort Myers kid. Um, was a wide receiver, not turned cornerback. Um, people seem to think he's a heavy Miami lean. Um, how many cornerbacks do you think Miami gonna take? We'll take three. We'll take three this year. Yeah. You take what? what what's gonna happen is they're gonna take two now, and, and see how things go during the season. And then you know the portal is gonna always be that 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 light. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just in case another corner hits the portal, but uh, eventually it's gonna be three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's two high schoolers or in the, in the transfer or three high schoolers. Right, you know right, so right. it's going to be three. We sat out, we, we sat out with Sean Spence. And it looked like we two for two with Donna Forio. <laughs> we two for two with somebody said Donna Forio <laughs> wasn't a bad defensive coordinator. Um, it just, you had to do what the defense say do. And a lot of times players aren't doing what they're supposed to do. How you felt about that, Ed? I mean, that, that, that just lets you know, um, uh, Spence, Spence, Spence basically said, you know, it's us, the players, we had to be held accountable for, for, for what's going on on the field. Right. Um, you really going to get that from a lot of players. You know, a lot of the players uh, like to point the blame at right. either uh, teammates or coaches, you know what I'm saying? But Spence said, yeah, it's, it's us, like, we got to do our job. Um, and you kind of agree, you know. Um, you, it, it's rare you're gonna get a coach who can't coach, you know, especially yeah. at the college level. Some right. somehow he got to know how to coach. Maybe even looked at it that way. Right. Somehow they got to know how to coach. So maybe he he just got stuck in his system and say, "Well, I know my system works, so all you gotta do is do what I say, right. and it's gonna work." But then you got players saying, "Well, this is not what we normally do." Right. I think I could do it this way, and the coach saying, "Well, no." Yeah. And then you, now you got, uh oh, they're going back and forth on the field because the player, like, man, uh, maybe I could do it this and right. maybe get beat. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. Could, could, it, could it be a situation that the older coach is outsmarting the kids in the film room? Like saying, listen, man, if you would have just did blase, 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 it, it would have worked. But in all actuality, you got too much going on on the goddamn defense. Was not allowing kids to play film. Could it? Could it be that? Yeah, it could be that. It could be. It could be. It could be misleading when you in the film room. They showing right. you. They showing you all the perfect stuff. Right. But on the field, it's never perfect. Right. You know right, what I'm right. It's always gonna be something. Something went wrong, or and this play a lot faster than I really thought he was. Right. So obviously you got to play off your instincts. But um, yeah, it could be the coach saying, "Well, this is. I'm, I'm only gonna show you the perfect stuff. He right. never showed you the bad stuff." And say, "Well." This, this happened. Do this, right? So you, yeah, you could have that. Um, yeah. But like I say, it, it, Smith said it like it was just a miscommunication with culture. They didn't understand that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So when when they came with our golden and, the, and, the, and they and them came, that was the biggest aspect of them and our players. Right, 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 right. You would have thought that our golden them would have came down here and been like, like, like. I was about to say something, but <laughs> like kids in the candy store with the talent that they had, but but they they, they tried to make the talent fit, fit their well, they, they fit their personality, yeah, fit their personality and, and and their discipline, and um it worked sometimes and sometimes it didn't work. That defense that Sean that that Just Sean McCarthy main, defense, good yeah. lord, they was loaded. They were loaded. The defense was they good? Been loaded. They was they was they was good. They were, like you say they led the nation in tackles for loss. I remember that. I remember they led the nation in tackles for loss. It just like he say, we couldn't was get off the field sometimes. Like we couldn't yeah. get off the field sometimes. It'd be third and eight, and they get a first down, and that's just it's another first down. It's like, yeah, that's that. So, um, right, a lot, a lot of that had to do with, I think, between the golden and uh, Go golden and um, Shannon era, you either got good defense, yeah. bad offense, or you got good offense, bad defense. It's like we could never get it together. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Even when Rick come, so so offense, good defense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now Diaz is here. You got good offense, defense. We can Diaz never get, get it together. Defense, you know right. what I'm saying? So now, hopefully Diaz can get it back to where uh, the offense is good. Yeah. Now the defense is good. You know what I'm saying? If that's if that could work, then you know we'll win a lot of games. We we went from having one commit to like, man, what's going on with recruiting? She moving slow. 
them boy look like they cooking again. So we get yeah, we get the second commit. Both of them, both of the commits shut down. Yeah. Um, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of fires. Where smoke? A lot of smoke. Where yes, smoke? There's fires. A lot of smoke, man. Um, a lot of smoke. I was thinking about this, man. I just did an all nighter, man. Drove down here. Um, to, to shoot Sean Spence, man. We got some stuff coming for y'all, bro. Some, 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 some fire. I was thinking about this. That recruiting class last year, right? See, we didn't, we didn't think about this. That recruiting class they pulled in last year, right? The kids behind them, some of them looked up to them kids that went to Miami. Them going to Miami is 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 going to affect some of those kids. Yeah, because some of those kids may want to go play with the Leonard Taylors and the James Williams. Um, so so that the, res, the residue of that class, man, may look like it's 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 it's, it's going right into. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, you know the one thing I the one thing I, I say uh, Mark Rick and Diaz did good was when they first came. Remember Mark Rick stressed that we going into the little league park trying to go yeah. get these little league kids. Right. Four years later, five years later, these kids are graduating. They going right, right, right. to yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mark Rick so did put a footprint in. They that. did that, and um, like you say, it's following the suit. Now you got yeah. the other kids saying, "Yeah, boy, James and them at." So I'm gonna go there, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right. Good players want to play with good players. Yeah, good, right, 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 right. So if it's good enough for him, if, if it's good enough for me. And now we got some more big names, man, some more big names saying that they, they, they look, 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 they look like they're leaning towards Miami. Um, so they may pull in another class. Yeah, man. I'm. Uh, everybody keeps asking me about the big bear, man. I'm like, man, I, I, I don't know. I can't get a feel on that guy. Um, I still think there's Texas and them all the way. Um, yeah, he, think he took a vacation out here. Yeah, he took a vacation. Man. He brought his, <laughs> he brought his man. girlfriend, man. Yeah. But I keep hearing mixed things about that big bear. I keep hearing somebody tell me he on recruit watch, and then I, I, I just find it I hard. I mean, on commit look, watch. Me, me personally, I find it it's hard to see that type of player of that caliber leave the state of Texas. Yeah, you got Texas and never Texas. It's, when he was committed to Georgia, I was like, well, that's weird. Like, I ain't leave Texas. Man. I'm a guard on the left. And I'm going to tell you why. I usually don't indulge my information. I don't think he coming. I don't I think he's coming. I hit Big Bear up. I was like, Big Bear, boy, let's get on Zoom. We're going to talk about this Miami visit, man. man. Big Bear ain't say that damn word back to me. Big Bear saw it. <laughs> Big Bear ain't want to talk about no Miami. <laughs> but I listen. So I'm going to go on the limb and say, nah, I don't think Big Bear yeah, interested think, in Miami yeah, talk. Because a lot of the kids that are interested in Miami talk, yeah. they be willing to come on and talk. I got a few names, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're willing to come on and talk. Um, Eddie Gibson, I just talked to Graves. Like, the kids that are interested in Miami and, and, and they, 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 they want to come on and talk, even though it's not all Miami, you know what I'm saying, footballville, but they see they see what it is with the Caneville and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go out on a little, man. Big Bear going to be old Aggie. Yeah, he's going to be Aggie. I think he's going to be I think he's going to be. I think Big Bear got and, and 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 rightfully so. Came down here on Miami Dime, and, and that's how you do it. I mean, hey, nothing wrong with that. That's how you do it. Nothing I mean, wrong with that man, take a vacation. You know, I ain't never been to Miami. Come down to Miami and see what and, it is and, and run it. Well, listen, man. I, yesterday I played a game with Chris Graves, man. Um, fifty dollar NFL challenge, man. Where I had him fifteen seconds. He had to pick ten NFL quarterbacks, and he fucking failed the first time. <laughs> Second time, he just cheated. He was cheating. Him and his homeboy was cheating. I know they were cheating. They had to be cheating. He just started naming off names and he shouldn't like he just started naming off names. But um he wanted man and I'm trying to do I'm gonna do some of that stuff like that. Just give back to some of the kids, man. Cause I tell y'all this dog. Some of these kids in some of these areas, you know what I'm saying, aren't well off. Yeah, they aren't well off, yeah. They aren't well off, you know what I'm saying? And um so 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 yeah, so I'ma start giving back in that in that fashion, you know what I'm saying, to the kids. Uh, playing these little games and these little challenges, man. So y'all go check that out, man. So did we decide? Did we decide we're gonna do the uh, the ticket giveaway or um, the Bama ticket? Are there any left? I mean, today was the the, the day was the second tier day where they could get them, and I say, well, if they don't get them, yeah, they can go because everybody will wait for 17. We we'll don't talk about that, man. We'll, we'll announce it if we do it. We we'll don't so. talk about that, man. We we'll announce it if we do it. Man. That's a behind the scene conversation. <laughs> But listen, man, y'all stay locked in with us, man. Listen, if you want to become a member, YouTube helped us out and put the link right there in the description. So iPhone, y'all can't be retarded no more. It's right there in the description. And in the comment section when we go live, man, we got some added some new badges, some new emojis. Um, so if you're a member for six months, you got a six. If you're two, you got a two. If you're new, it's a new member. So, man, we got a lot of stuff going on, man. Um, 
The stuff's starting to heat up, dog. Uh, fall will be around here. What? Fast. No time, right? No time. Man. Yep. No time, and then it'll be us versus them. <laughs> Going down in Atlanta. All right, man, we're going to get out of here. That's X. I'm D. Y'all make sure y'all like and share. We out. Let's go take three.